Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with another legendary comic book heroes pit series action figure review and it's the turn of Savage Dragon. Here is the bio from the packaging back and if you care to acquaint yourself any further with Savage Dragon, pause now and read at your own leisure. Other figures in this series are Ripclaw, Judge Dredd, Super Patriot, Madman, all of which I've already reviewed here on my channel. Then we have Witchblade, review forthcoming. And finally, the builder figure of the series, Pit. Speaking of which, here are the various parts of Pit that I've acquired from the accompanying action figures as I've reviewed them one by one. And with Savage Dragon, he contributes the left leg of Pit. Here is Savage Dragon out of packaging. You may remember him from 90s pop hits such as Truly Madly Deeply. Oh no, hang on, that was Savage Garden. When it comes to the 90s, Savage Dragon, like any other self-respecting superhero back then, had his own animated series. Remember that? No, me either. Savage Dragon was created for Image Comics by Eric Larson, he of early 90s Spider-Man penciling fame, and here's a fact trivia fans will no doubt enjoy. Eric Larson's Savage Dragon represents the longest run on an American comic book by any single artist slash writer. Taking an even closer look, looking beyond the signature fin of the character, has a really nice stoic face sculpt. And the eagle-eyed among you will have noticed on the card back he was completely shirtless. That's because the figure you see here is the variant. The shirt on him is just painted on, and unfortunately it's come out the packaging looking really quite grubby. Now looking at articulation, the head rotates side to side. It also looks down this much and up this much, has an ab crunch which moves this far forwards, yet doesn't really move so much back, has shoulder rotation, the arms move up and down at the shoulder and then rotate around the ball joint of the shoulder, there's a single jointed elbow and then wrist rotation and then the hand is hinged and this is where articulation gets crazy. The thumb is articulated, all fingers are also articulated, not once, but each finger has two points of articulation. Which means Savage Dragon has more articulation in his hand than some of Hasbro's Marvel Legends have in the entire action figure. There's rotation at the waist and then at the hips, the legs move out to the sides and back in to the front and also to the back. The legs rotate around the ball joint of the hip, there's a double jointed knee, and then at the ankle it's hinged to move backwards and forwards, and then there's a decent amount of pivot, with this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still remaining flat on the floor. Then there is also toe articulation. So all things said, a really decent action figure. It's kind of a shame so many of them have been lost to Luke Cage customs over the years. If you missed my Madman custom, click this video right now. Alternatively, check out the description beneath this video for links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Click those links and connect with me there too. As ever, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also remember to comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Mm, bye.